Another day, another. Fill up. Hey, look, we're at my favorite pump. Stickerless. Today is filling up the Evo because today what we are doing is. Oh, geez. Stay still. We are going to be test fitting the wheels. I would like to go get tires. Hopefully they have tires in stock. I need to go see that right now. But you guys saw it. It was going to be a Red Bull. But Red Bull's right now. She was a thirsty bitch. Okay. Oh, come on. I want that 10 cents. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I hate my life. Oh, I hate it even more now. Rough start of the day, boys. Before we get to the shop, you guys already know. I might as well get two, because if it's 359, I get one every day. Two for five, hell yeah. So I just got done drinking my Red Bull. I'm all wired up now. So what we're doing today is I want to test fit the Evo wheels like I was telling you earlier. So we got the wheels right here. Don't mind my beautiful keys racing wheel. We're just gonna put that right there. Um, I just went across the street. I bought two tires. I didn't buy four just yet, just because we don't know if these are gonna fit. I still have to test fit these wheels. I need to bring it to the body shop. They need to rule the fenders. And after the body shop says we're gonna be able to fit them, I need to take those tires back off and I need to bring these to the powder coater because I wanna get these freshly powder coated, make them look really nice so they look excellent in the car. And I also want to only do one side today just because I wanna see how much better or worse these look rather than the RPF one. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take these to the tire shop right now and see what they look like. Here we go. Look at this, okay, so they're not the prettiest right now. Like we got some curb rash right here and stuff, but nothing like some powder coat can't fix this problem. So we got some Nexon tires, 215, 40, 17. I decided to go with a 215 instead of a 225 because I wanted a little bit of stretch because this is already gonna be hard enough to fit these wheels onto this car. So we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna put it on the JDM driver's side. So I'm gonna put these on real quick and we're gonna see the difference. All right, sorry RPF ones, no one likes you. Buddy club's coming up. All right, so we're gonna lower this thing and see what she looks like. It already looks so badass. Nice and slow, just in case it hits the quarter. Oh yeah, good job. All right, that's all the way. Dude, that looks so fucking sick. And honestly, we're not even low enough to where it's gonna hit, I mean, I'm sure if we're boosting pretty hard, there's a good chance that we might sag a little bit and it might hit. But I mean, right now, I mean, I think these fit. I think they look sick. They're super flush. Let's check from the side. No, dude, that is so good. This is perfect right here. Damn, dude. I'm gonna put the other one on. <sighs> okay, so personally, I think these look a lot better than the RPF ones. So these are the Buddy Club wheels on the Evo. Check it out. They look great. I think the fitment is perfect. The only thing that I really don't like is if you come back here, you can see the tire sticking out just a little bit. And I don't know how I feel about that. If you check that out right there, it just sticks out a tiny bit. But honestly, I think the fitment is pretty perfect. At first, I didn't think we were gonna have to roll the fenders or roll the quarters or anything because like, RPF ones, they were a 16 inch wheel with a 195.55 and these are 17s with a 215 40. So 17 with a 40 is the same as a 16 with a 55. Because I put the RPF one right in front of this and it was literally the same height as the RPF one. But the problem is I put 350 pounds in the back and I went for a rage. And as you could see, it was absolute rub city, but that's okay. I mean, I kind of destroyed the tire a little bit, but other than the tire, this is okay because we really wanted to see how much we actually had to roll. And we might have to just pull the fender out just a little bit. Like I said, I'm not gonna do this because I personally don't wanna fuck it up. I get a lot of money into this car. And I think these wheels will look pretty perfect. It, ru it rubbed under full rage. Only full rage. You, you think you can make this fit? I got it. Okay, well, you heard it there. Body shop says it can fit. Um, I'm a little bummed about this tire because it was literally brand new about 20 minutes ago and now it's toast. But front does not rub at all. What's up? I said we can fix the tire too. You think you can fix the tire? How? I'll just go over there and say it's defective. <laughs> got him. The next step is to get these rolls. But what do you guys think? The Buddy Club wheels or the RPF ones. I personally think they both look amazing. I like the 17 inch wheel on this. I just don't like that they stick out a little bit, but at the same time, I like how they look a lot more aggressive on the car. Like these look a little sunk. Um, these 
are almost perfectly flush. It's just sticking out the tiniest bit, but I think we can fix that. I don't think I have to lower it anymore. I think this is a pretty good height for this car, considering this is gonna be more of just like a street car, daily driver, and like if I wanna go somewhere to like rage some roads, I won't be too low and have to worry about hitting anything. So I think this is a pretty good height. You guys wanna see some fucking OG haggard shit right now? Look what Marcus is doing. So we got this E36 vert that was green, black, red, yellow, orange, you name it, all of the colors. So Marcus and Brett here, they decided to sand down the whole car and they're straight up rattle canning it with six cans. Six cans. <laughs> you gotta do it on a budget, man. <laughs> not 10, not 15, six cans. How many cans did it take you to do your whole car? Uh, the Forester? Yeah. A lot. Like, I think 18. Jesus. Dude, the Forester came out fucking baller. It Here's a so. picture of it right now. So what we're gonna do is, this is just the base, so the car, Brent wants the car white. So we're gonna just paint the whole thing white, but when we do the clear, that's what we're gonna do like heavy coats of clear. Yeah, so you can buff it to kind of shine it out. Yeah, just so that Alex has a lot of room to, to like work with. This is a perfect paint job, or tape job right here. <laughs> Fuck the tire. <laughs> I told him. I love it. You guys wanted Haggard, this is it. I'm curious to see what the final product's gonna look like. I'll give you guys a little walk around real quick. What happened to the hood? You just didn't finish it yet? No. I don't think it looks too bad for a rattle can. <laughs> we'll see at the end. This dude just scared the absolute hell out of me. If you guys remember, this is noble, dude. The truck's still fucking kicking, huh? Yeah, dude. Thing is awesome. I love it. Dude, I love the way you were drifting yesterday. I saw you drift for the first oh, you're time. You're still watching the videos. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you so much. I got to take you out sometime. I'm waiting for that, buddy. Dude, I'm ready for it, man. I, I, you gotta teach me how to drift. Dude, I'll let you drive it. Dead please, ass. Please. That'd be such a good video. Everybody, hold him to his word. He's gotta teach me how to drift. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> Throw it down in the comments if you guys wanna see Noble Drift in the LS3 drift car. Just don't crash or you owe me a truck. I got you, dude. Oh, he's got me. Hold him to his word right there. You heard that? I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna drive five miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Fuck the license plate, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> It'll buff out, right? Buff right out. A little mineral spirit to take that right off. The only thing that matters is this is going to look a hundred times better than it did. And how much How much did this paint job cost so far? Uh, like 35 bucks. 35 bucks, dude. Really? Yeah. How much is the paint? Well, it's, it's probably going to cost like 150 said and done. Which honestly isn't bad. Yeah. You can't complain about a $150 paint job no matter how it comes out. I just tried shaking the camera as the can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give it the little rod knock touch here. Dude, I miss doing this, you know? What, just going at it? Just not giving a fuck, dude. Like your $100 paint job? Yeah, this is fun. You don't miss your $6,000 paint job? I mean, the $6,000 paint job, don't get me wrong, comes out fucking amazing. And it wasn't $6,000, Marcus Parks. It was like 3500 bucks. Hey, not too bad, not too bad. Not bad. Slow and steady wins the race. Shit, I'm getting paint all over my camera. Fuck it, it's junk. This is some Asmire shit. Hopefully you guys enjoy. ASMR. Is it Asmire or ASMR? ASMR. So no one says Asmire. Oh, I don't even know what that yeah, is. Quasmire? Is that Family Guy Quasmire? <laughs> Quagmire. I don't watch Family Guy. Is that crazy that I've never seen a full episode of Family Guy? Yeah. Shit, we're running out, Brett. Uh, is this the last can? Yeah. Come on! My finger is really hurting. Ugh. My finger, it's bleeding. My finger's bleeding. <sighs> My knees hurt so bad too. Good. Dude, that looks baller as fuck, huh? The whole car is almost one color. Dude, this is it, man. This is budget drift car. I really like to work in. Hell yeah. 
All right, guys, so the Evo is back at the body shop right now. They're gonna go ahead, they're actually gonna cut some of this out, but they're not gonna cut all of it because if they did, then it's just gonna make it too flimsy for the quarter panel, and if anything ever actually hit it, then it would bend out. But they're just gonna cut a little so it's easier to actually bend in so it won't chip the paint. So they're gonna go ahead, they're gonna do all this right now, and hopefully we can go for a drive without it rubbing. Sitting in the office watching the Evo. She'll be done soon. Oh, so shaky, I'm sorry. All right, so the rear fenders just got rolled. Um, they rolled them from right here to about right there. This is really where it's gonna rub, as you can see, it's just right there, and it went up. And we knew exactly where it was rubbing because we put like 350 pounds in the back and it showed all of the black marks actually on the quarter panel. So me and Marcus, we're gonna go for a quick rage real quick and see if it fixed the problem. You ready to feel the Evo, dude? Oh yeah, you haven't felt the corner power yet. Okay, I'm not sure. Let's find out. All right, so this is my favorite time of the day. You know, just a little quick rip ski. The thing that sucks about Florida is there's really no back roads. It's all just straight. So like, you kind of got to settle for some parking lots, but you just got to be in and out, I'm not trying to abuse anything. I, I just want to test to see if they rub. You ready? Yeah. Drifted a little, huh? Near steer. Yeah, I mean, okay, so I think on this side we're pretty good on the 215s, but we got like 185 or 195 on the other side, and like it's nothing but just understeer just because like the tires is folding over and it doesn't have yeah. enough actually on the ground. But I'm confident that when we put the 215s all around, the, I mean, this fucker, like she understeers, but she still hooks. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. We even drifted it, dude. All wheel drive drifts. Hell yeah, I'm a little shaky because I'm a little nervous and I haven't eaten and I've been ripping the vape. So, um, and, uh, yeah, this video might be a little wonky, but like, just know I'm not wearing my seatbelt. I mean, at that point, I feel like the wonkiness kind of does it justice just because we were full blown raging. Lots of G force, lots of G's, lots of rage, fucking Evo. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, back to head garage. Hey, how you doing? So, this is the ultra, ultra, ultra budget. E36, so it's not done. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there's a lot of tiger stripes and stuff, but Brett, he actually lives three hours away. Marcus just helps him with, on the weekends and Monday and Tuesday, because that's when he has it off. So they only have a few days to actually try to make it super budget, because Brett, what's your budget throughout this whole car? Like thousand bucks? Like 1500 bucks, so he can't really spend a lot on paint. He's just trying to make a daily drift car, and Marcus has been helping him with that. But this is the outcome of it. Um, he didn't have enough money to actually finish it, so they're going to come back on Sunday. Saturday. Yes, Saturday. But you can see the hood looks a little beefed up, but nothing like some spray paint can't fix, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, throw it down in the comments, you guys think. We need to get some front spacers so I fuck those wheels out. No, no, no. Fuck the wheels, dude. He needs wheels next. No, these are good. What? No, they're not good. Dude, he, did you, do you remember how he had the car set up before? Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah. Yeah, it was all mismatched wheels. But I'm saying, if he gets, if he gets like a decent wheel on this thing, it won't look. He put one of the South 32s on it with the stretch tire and it looked pretty good. But the stretch tire looks sick. It just doesn't fit this car. Well, it just needs more low. Yeah, I guess. But I don't know. With some with some wheels, I think it would wake up this car enough. I guess I could say that. Wake up it enough. Hell yeah. And get that side trim. You need that side trim. Yeah. Keep going. All right, guys. Well, we got a game of bike. 
Chris Rudnick, Chris Park. Chris Rudnick, Marcus Parks. Shout out Overflow BMX. Those were the good old days, right? Oh yeah. I I I loved when summer vibes, you know, just riding your bike every single day, not a care in the world, no bills, no problem, no money. Who gives a fuck about money? I yeah. mean, yeah, a little bit. When your bike broke, you're kind of mad. You didn't have no money. Dude, I was a fucking hustler for. Bike. I know you were. But um, apparently, you're not allowed to ride your bike in Florida. Like. I've called like four skate parks and you have to wait for bike nights, which is ridiculous. Why can't bikers and skaters just get along like Connecticut and Massachusetts? Never had this problem. Haven't ridden my bike in a little while. I want to see if we can get some stuff, some first tea. So I'm going to do a bar spin. No fish hops, no nothing. I haven't eaten today, so I feel like I'm going to pass out, but for you, Marcus Parks. Just kidding, it's a few. I guess I'm going to have to get my bike out in a minute. You know, I just... I just want to ride, dude. All right, I'm gonna do the 180 bar on the other side so you can see it better. You think I got that first tee? Uh, sure. Second, you always just gotta get the bitch hops, especially not riding. I know. I actually hate my life, hold on. <laughs> that was so scary. All right, I I'm bet. Back at you. Oh! I was almost Scotty right there. Sick. You think I can go for a double? No. I've never tried that. No! Oh! Never mind, I'm gonna pass out. Don't get fat, kids, because it's not worth it. I might go get some Taco Bell. <sighs> all right, guys, so we got ultra rub test right now. So we got three guys, balls deep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give her some beans, you ready? I hope it don't rub. No rub! I didn't hear anything, did you? No sir. Hell yeah. We need a second gear, Paul. This is kind of hard holding the camera. Oh, you got me, dude. Look, that's true love right there, shifting. All right, let go of the clutch. We're gonna, we're gonna give her a little romper real quick. You ready? I don't think that was a rub, dude. Yeah. Rub. Oh, that was a rub with the bump. Was it? Yeah, I, was, I heard a little rub. You heard the bump on the RPS. Oh, that was? You Dang. didn't hear it on uh, Tommy the Painter's job. No, that was straight up RPF1. Yeah, man. That's weird. But anyways, I mean, I I think it's fair to say that it definitely passed the rub test. I mean, I'm definitely not going to have this much weight ever in this car, so it doesn't really matter. Not, I'm not talking shit, by the way. No, I'm just a sumo wrestler in the back. <laughs> <laughs> but we're actually going to go get semi-healthy food. Is Bruise Room healthy? Yes. They got wings, tacos, nachos. I mean, it's better than Taco Bell. Fuck it. I literally love this. So we got the Buddy Club wheels on this side, and we just got the RPF ones on this side. So I really can just get a taste of both wheels. But I'm definitely liking the Buddy Clubs a lot more. Just the bigger wheel helps a lot. I think I might get a thicker sidewall tire on the other side, just because these do look a little rubber banny. They're 215, 40... 17, I might go with a 215.45. I think that might help with it not being lower or anything. I mean, I say keep the size and just lower the car a little bit more. You think lower the car? Let me know what you guys think. Either lower the car or get a beefier tire because we definitely got to do one or the other. Well, I'm trying to eat a little healthy, so I decided to get a pizza. That's healthy, little? right? Not too bad. No, it's, it's pretty unhealthy. Got some Italian sausage on it. Fuck them. Just left Brew's room, finished everything but two pieces of pizza. RPF ones or Buddy Club. Buddy Club looks so much better. I'm gonna keep saying it. The white on white looks so fire too. Well guys, I think it's fair to say that they fit. Um, on the way back from dinner, we literally raged the hell out of this car and we didn't rub once. So, the next step of this process is going to be getting these wheels back off the car. I need to get the tires unmounted from the wheels and I need to just bring them to the powder coater. We're just going to get them the same white as the car. I think it's going to look really fresh. I personally love white on white cars. I think they look amazing, but I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Like I said, let me know what you guys think down below on the wheel choice and how it looks. And I know I'm missing that light. We actually have those on order right now because that the, the, the tab on the actual light broke, so I just don't have that. And I need to get a new lip because my driveway absolutely sucks and it literally ruined the lip because it's fiberglass. We've already talked about that before, but this thing looks so, other than the light and other than the lip, this thing looks fucking killer. I love it. Let me know what you think about that poke too. Just a tiny bit poke, not a lot, just a little bit. 
see you in the next one.